Hello everyone. Are you tired of writing the same data over and over again? Or you can't present a sentence in a single cell? Then I am here to solve your problem. You can easily solve that problem by just one click. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn three methods on how to merge multiple cells in Excel at once. In our first case, we want to merge multiple cells in Excel by using Excel Toolbar. In this case, we have employee name, entry time, lunch break, and monthly salary in column B, C, D, and E. Our target is to merge the lunch break cells in using Excel Toolbar. So at first, we have to select the whole column we want to merge then we have to go to the home tab and then in the alignment section we have to select the merge and center option after that you will have a warning and then after clicking ok you will have your merge cells you have to note that the merge cells will give the result of the very first cell so if you want to keep the other data then you have to copy these data to another cell. So this is our first method by using Excel toolbar. In our second case, we want to use ampersand operator to merge multiple cells at once. In this case, we have first name, last name, hours per day, monthly salary and merge name in the column B, C, D, E and F. Now our target is to merge the first name and second cell in the F5 cell. So at first we'll go to the F5 cell, put the equal sign and then we'll select the first cell we want to merge. Then insert the ampersand operator and select the second cell we want to merge. After pressing the enter button, you'll get your merged cells. But if you want to put a blank cell or a space between them, then at first you have to go to the formula then after the ampersand formula, you have to insert double quotation, put a space, again double quotation, and again insert the ampersand formula. Now, if you press the enter button, then you will see that the formula has given us the merge cell but with a space. Now, if you copy down the formula to use it to every cell, then you will see you have got the merge names but with a space. So, that's our second method. In our next method, we want to use concatenate function to merge multiple cells. To do that, at first we have to go to the F5 cell and then we have to insert the formula concatenate. So we'll write down concatenate. And now we have to select our first cell we want to merge which is B5. Now we will use the second text which is the second cell we want to merge now C5. Now if we hit the enter button then you will see the cells have been merged but if we want a space between them then we will have to go to the cells and after the first cell you need to put a double quotation, a space, double quotation and insert a comma. Now if you hit the enter button then you will see now the cells have been merged but there remains a space. So if you copy down the formula then you will get the result according to wish. So that's how we can usually use concatenate function to merge multiple cells. So that's it for today. You can use any of the methods accordingly. Hope this will help you. If you have any suggestions, questions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelimi.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.